marketing gets you the knock on the door. Marketing says, hi, I'm here. I would like to talk with you. That's what marketing does. Okay. So, so marketing, just so we're clear, marketing in this case is like, yes, there's branding, but marketing is about getting you phone calls and getting you emails. Okay. Correct. Correct. Does that, does that make sense? Everyone type in, type in like uh, email, uh, type in phone calls. If, if that makes sense, like that's what marketing does. Marketing's main job is to get you phone calls and emails. Okay. That is marketing. What you do, like whether like you're branding, you do direct messaging, you do postcards, everything is about getting phone calls. Okay. That's marketing. So if that is marketing, what is sales? Everyone type in the chat. What is sales? What does sales do for you? Once you get these phone calls, what is, what is sales do for you? Type that in the chat and Jerry, in your world, what does sales do? So let me continue the analogy. Marketing gets the knock on the door to the business. The salesperson opens the door and says, how can I help you? That's what sales does. It puts people onto your schedule that will arrive, pay, stay, and do word of mouth and help you with your marketing in the future. There, That's you're, there you go. I like the, I'm going to get very, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Sales means converting the calls. It means converting the emails into an appointment. Okay. That's what it is. And who, let me ask you, who, I'm going to ask you the, uh, I'm going to ask the question again, who employs salespeople at their clinic right now? Type in sales. If you employ salespeople at your clinic, these are the people that convert calls into new patients. Ah, uh, now I'm smiling. Okay. But Jerry, do you understand like what we just did here? Like we had to do yeah, this. Oh, no. so people understand. I know. Yep, you can't you get can't. it. So, so I think like this is a very in, di, di, uh, distinction. So there's, there's two ways you could get more new patients. Everyone, you could generate more calls, right? And what's the other way? You could train your front desk to convert more of those leads into arrivals into scheduled people. Okay. Which one's easier? Everyone type in, in the chat. Is it easier to do marketing or is it easier to do sales? Type nah, in the chat. That's a great question. That's a loaded question, by the way. Is it easier? Type in the chat. What's easier sales or marketing? Is it easier to generate phone calls or is it easier to close phone calls? Okay. Type in the chat sales or marketing. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Marketing is hard. Ah, I, do I love it. I love I it. Rick's getting, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and the people that do branding, like, 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 oh, you know, like I'm a Lululemon, I'm an Apple. That doesn't generate phone calls. It takes gener it takes generous phone calls after like three, five, 20 years, you know, like marketing is tough. Right. I you know? love like, it, man. By the way, I will argue. So here's here. the deal. Wait, real quick. Because some people said, Ty, it's close. This is the issue in physio, in healthcare, in, in what we do. People don't understand and won't acknowledge the connection between Rick and Jerry, marketing and sales. When you acknowledge the connection, they both will get easier. Yet you must first understand there's marketing and there's sales. And your front desk and your providers are both salespeople. So once you figure that out, your marketing can improve and your front desk team can help Rick be more successful with you. It's that yeah. freaking simple. And y'all know I'm a marketing guy. That's you know? what I'm is, saying. Is Rick a marketing guy or a sales guy? I'm yeah. a marketing guy. Rick is the marketing. I'm the sales guy. That's why I keep talking over him. Last, this is the results for last week, right? We spent $183 on Google ads, right? Um, we generated like, this is interesting. So we use, uh, we use Google ads, right? You know? Uh, last week, uh, we were testing this for like five, six clinics, you know, in, in the, uh, we tested like a big city, small city. Uh, I'm running these tests. Um, I got 12, I got 12, uh, I got 12, I got two emails and 10 phone calls, right? Type in the chat. What do you see here, everybody, right? Jerry, what do you see when you see this? I see the help. They need help with sales training, dude. That's what I see. Okay. Guys, is this good? It costs me, well, first of all, with Google ads, this is what I see. Majority of the leads coming in were phone calls, not emails, right? So that's number one. I'm spending 
we spent two hundred dollars, one hundred eighty-three dollars last week, and we generate twelve, like extra, like we generate ten phone calls, two emails. How much did it cost me per lead? Right, fifteen dollars. Who who would who would like to get fifteen dollars a phone call right now? Fifteen dollars for a Google Ads phone call. Is that a good number or a bad number? I'll take it. Right. Type in the chat, who, like for Google ads, $15 a phone call. Is that a good number or a bad number? Right? See, uh, Alexandra, uh, Alex, Alex, Alexandra knows because we've been talking about this, right? You know, 15 bucks for a major city. Once again, you know, so, so, um, so 50 bucks a phone call. Think about this here. here I'm going to show this thing. This is like where like everything gets dropped and I get so, so upset. You need let, let's go back to your question as you're pulling forward real quick. I need people to understand this is not a marketing problem. And most of the clinic owners I know will say we got a marketing problem because we have no people on the schedule. And I'll say, no, you have a sales problem. This is not a marketing problem. That's the answer to Rick's question on this line. Look at this. this I got this is calls. not a marketing problem. I got 10 calls and I missed nine. Okay. This correct. is real numbers. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? I spent $200 or $1,000 a month. Why bother? 10% of these calls. And guess what? At the end of the day, you know, it cost me a, I, I booked two, okay? These clients booked two. So literally it cost me $91 for a new patient book. Is $91 a good number or a bad number? Type that in the chat. Is that good or bad? For a patient book. Jesus Christ, dude. Right? That is bad. Okay. Actually, it's horrible. You still okay, have that to is pay. horrible. Okay. You still have all your expenses of your business on top of that. There's no. So problem. let me ask you: Do we have a marketing problem here, or do we have a sales problem? All right, good. Okay. Yes, sales problem. Okay. And so I'm going to give it. A, I'm going to do another example now. If I spent, if ninety, if it cost me, let's just say, if if it cost me ninety one dollars on like Google Ads, right? Oh my God, this is horrible. I'm just going That's to That's awesome, it. dude. Actually, and it cost me $30 for a new patient on like, let's just say, let's just say Facebook, okay? Facebook. Where am I going to spend my marketing next month? Am I going to spend it on Google or Facebook? Which one has a, like a lower cost per new patient? Type that in the chat. Right? If it cost me 91 bucks for Google, it cost me $30 for Facebook. Where am I going to spend my marketing dollars? Facebook or Google, right? Exactly. Facebook. So the point of this story is two things, right? Sales is the easiest thing for you to focus on right now, everyone. Okay. I just use this because everyone's like, I'm talking to everyone. Everyone's like, I want to do Facebook ads. I want to do SEO. Like this is what everyone's talking about right now inside their academy. Like I'm working with like 400 clinics right now. Everyone's like, I want to do SEO. I want to do ads. I want to do Facebook ads. I want to do Google ads. Right. You know, and, and I'm saying like, I'm saying, I'm not saying don't do it. Start with one channel, measure it. You know, how much does it cost you to get that new patient in the door? Right. And then figure out, do you have a marketing problem or a sales problem? Right. If it's a sales problem, work on sales training. If your sales is good, then, and then you need to try another marketing channel and see which one gives you a lower cost per new patient. So take a screenshot of this, everyone. This is how you determine, like this is what I call cost per new patient, cost per assessment. Take a screenshot of this. You take your advertisement cost and um, whether it was booked. Compare channel to channel, okay? So I'm gonna give everyone a really quick tip, okay? So if, uh, who, who's heard of call tracking before? Type in call tracking if you've heard it before. So all, what you do is you create these fake phone numbers, you put it to each of your stuff. You put it on your website, you put it on paid ads, Google ads, social media, whatever, doctor marketing, doctor referral paths, like radio ads. And then you can track how many phone calls that you get, right? And then you can listen to these calls and determine whether they're booked or not, okay?